Hi, it's the Betting Whale again, Sunday, February 19, 2017. Yesterday, on Saturday, we had, uh, I had a total of seven round robins. I think we released six, and some of you might have gotten the seventh one as well. It shows what happens on a day where the teams are falling into certain patterns that are recognizable to me. Yesterday made up for a week of bad beats. We, during the week, we had pretty much lost any game that was close. Otherwise, we would have had a lot more three out of fours and four out of fours. We kept landing on two out of four with uh, the games coming down to the wire, the other team typically hitting a three, three pointer on us and, and us missing our free throws, etc. But that happens, and that's why I said in the video a couple, a couple days ago that hang in there, you'll watch how this, the results turn out on a month-to-month -month basis, it's always positive. Think about it as like a surfer that's, that's wanting to catch some big waves. You have to uh, see a lot of small waves first, and sometimes you think you got a big wave coming and it turns out it's not, but then when you catch that wave, you ride it all the way to the shore, it's quite a thrill. And in this case, instead of just having a thrill, you're not only having fun, but you're also making a lot of money. People who played the system and did the progression as we emailed yesterday that you should turned the uh, base amount into a positive 55 to 70 units uh, on an official basis, unofficially more like plus 80, plus 90. I personally had a very, very good day yesterday and I was positive for the month of February going, going into yesterday even after the bad beats during the week and this turned out to just even make it a greater month. What I want to see is I want, I want everybody to follow along with this system and stick with it day in and day out because at the end of the month you're going to see two, three, four big waves that bring you days like yesterday. Yesterday could have been an incredibly strong day. We had round robins where three of the, three of the four teams won easily and, and the fourth one came down to the wire. In one case, we won a game that came down to the wire, and in two, two cases, we didn't. Um, the Ohio State game, we were laying two and a half, winning the entire game comfortably, came down to the wire, down, we were up five at 26 seconds to go. How often are you gonna cover a game when you're up five with 26 seconds to go, minus two and a half, probably 95% of the time. Had that hit, that would have been another big round, four out of four. But that's okay. It still ended up a very, very positive day, and that's an example of un a good day. Now, a good streak is having good days like that two, three, four, five days in a row. You can imagine how much the multiplier effect occurs during a streak like that. So hang in there. Keep, we're all positive now, uh, even uh, on the official scorecard. The unofficial scorecard, which is all of the the games and the tickets that I've shown the champ system since we started is much higher than the unofficial card, but, but the champ system is very conservative on how they keep score on this, and that's fine with me, because as long as they're keeping score, they're going to see the results um, pan out over, uh, over a period of time consistently. And it, what's interesting about it is it seems like it's risky or inconsistent, but as long as you're managing the money the way that we're teaching you to do, it's actually a, a safer system than a lot of the other ones because you're betting a smaller unit base and you're not exposing as much on a daily basis and you're winning more on a hot run. What we're recommending you do, this is for the conservative people, take 1% of your risk capital bankroll on each parlay, which would be 4% on a, a round robin by threes when we're in a choppy mode. Once we hit one, like we did yesterday, then you go to 2% per parlay, which is 8% on, on the round robin. Now this is a continually fluctuating percentage of your bank, um, fixed percentage of your bankroll, but a fluctuating bet amount. It depends on what your bankroll is at the time. So th during a cold streak, it's important to understand something. You're, you're actually lowering and lowering and lowering the amount that you're taking, and the maximum you're taking is 1% on a parlay of a decreasing amount on the bankroll. When we get hot, 
you're taking a increasing percentage of an increasing bankroll. So you end up with a situation where you, you could you could hit three or four round robins and make up for 15 or 20 losing round robins quite easily. So again, you saw that yesterday, and that's just a small example of how the system will work. Yesterday, we all saw an example of what can happen on a, on a what I consider a mini streak run day. You can turn a small amount of money into a large amount of money. The very first round robin that came out of the gate, the 9 a.m. games, uh, hit, hit all, uh, possibly a push on the total depending on what the total you got on, on the uh, Miami Clemson game. But that would roll over into to the next round robins and on the afternoon and night games we hit uh, four out of four or three out of four on, on every one of them. That's a situation where you can take a small amount of money and roll it into many tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars in, in one day. Take that, roll it over into another day of hot picks or two days of hot picks. You can see how back in the 90s I was able to take a few thousand dollars and turn it into hundreds of thousands of dollars or even a million in the course of a week. Going forward too, there's, there's a timing issue that we're going to make it very easy for you. We're going to let you know when we're going to release the plays on Monday through Fridays and on weekends so that you'll know it's coming within a five minute window. That'll make it a lot more convenient for you to be in a position to get your plays in in time. We'll always try to get you the plays at least 45 minutes before the, before the first game starts. Thank you for hanging in there. I'm glad everyone had a, a wonderful winning day yesterday and I look forward to many more in the future. Going forward, I'll be releasing my free sports picks on this YouTube channel. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll be sure that you'll be the first to know as soon as I have free picks to release.